Hey guys, Merc here. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if this helps you. Today we're going to be walking through how to install my latest reshade, my Final Fantasy 15 Final Flash reshade, but the process is pretty much the same uh, for installing any reshade, uh, whether it's mine or someone else's. There are a few minor differences along the way, and I'll point those out as we go along. But um, right now I'm just running through what you would see on the mod page. Uh, here you can see, you know, some comparison pictures I took um, with the mod on and off. Anyway, we go here to the file section on the download page. And uh, once that loads up, we'll go ahead and download the mods, or download my files. Um, and I have uh, 1.4 is the real latest version now, but then I also have a 1.5 um, kind of like work in progress beta version, you know, whatever you want to call it that uh, I've put on there too. Um, cause I think it has some good improvements over 1.4, but I'm just not sure if I want to keep some of those changes. Um, so anyway, there's no harm in downloading them both. You can switch between both, uh, 1.4 version and 1.5 on the fly, uh, once you're up in the game. Okay. So now we're going to head back to the description page and look at the install instructions and you'll go to reshade.me and unfortunately I didn't realize I was not recording my cursor so sorry about that but I'm going to walk you through it so hit the reshade.me and then you'll scroll to the bottom of the page and you'll see a download button there's the latest version right there it doesn't matter what what just download whatever the latest version is so you wouldn't hit download and now you have all the things you need to have download it now they're they're on your computer so we'll go ahead and go to the uh, reshade.exe and run it um, here I just I, I I actually end up canceling it because I wanted to run it as an administrator I don't think it really matters uh, but you can always run as administrator to uh, to to be sure that it's going to capture all the uh, permissions that it needs to if you're if you have any problems there's no harm in running it as administrator in my experience so uh, now you have to find your games.exe, your Final Fantasy 15.exe, which will be in your main Final, Final Fantasy 15 game folder. There, as I as I stumble over my pronunciation of Final Fantasy, uh, I guess it's a bit of a tongue twister. You say it too fast. Anyway, um, I'm trying to just type in the you know what you need to look for there. So this is uh, friendly to someone that maybe uh, is a little deaf or hard of hearing, anything like that. So anyway, um, it'll very likely be in your Steam Apps uh, common uh, folder. That's where all the games are installed on Steam by default. Um, so you get there, and then you get to your uh, game folder, find that Final Fantasy 15.exe, And you won't have those copies of the .exe there. I just do that as my own backup in case an update ever breaks reshade. <laughs> and I want to go back to a version that works with reshade. Although it's really, very unlikely that a game will black reshade. Um, although it has happened in a very few number of instances in multiplayer only games like uh, PUBG and Squad. But anyway, that's another matter. And they didn't people didn't get banned for using it. They just uh, they the companies themselves blocked Reshade rather recently from being used because they felt you could use it in an exploitative way. Anyway, um, you will go ahead and, and select yes. When it asks you if you want to download that collection of shaders, although it really doesn't matter, uh, you can say no as well because of the way I have it set up uh, on the Nexus. Um, and I have the the actual shaders that you're going to be using in, in effects. I have them in folders already because I have some extra ones that Reshade doesn't offer uh, as it's in its standard package. So anyway, once you have them downloaded, you can see what I just did there. I renamed the DXGI file and the uh, DXGI. Uh, so th sorry, two two DXGI files. There's a .any and a .dlo. Rename them both uh, to d3d11.dlo and d3d11.ini. The file extension should be uh, correct already, so you don't need to rename the extension part, just the part that comes before it. And in fact, it has to. You have to make sure that uh, that you know the file name is exactly correct, including the extension. Everything won't work. So. 
Now we're heading over to the downloads so you can go ahead and open up the zip files that have the uh, you know, these are these are my files now um, which have the extra uh, effects in the reshade dash shader shoulder and it also has the uh, the actual preset files so the things that have all the uh, custom settings in it that give you the different reshades you use So go ahead and paste those into your into your game folder. Um, I, I'm using uh, I think it's called Seven Zip. Uh, a lot of people use WinRAR. Doesn't really matter. But you'll go ahead and get those in, into your game folder one way or another. Uh, so you'll have you just go ahead and overwrite anything that comes up. Um, if you you know because it's going to want to overwrite the uh, reshade dash shaders uh, items that are already in the folder you you install from the dot exe you launched before, and that's perfectly fine. You just just say yes to all, of, and it, it's perfectly okay. And that, in fact, you you have to, or your bloom will be really messed up, and you'll have just like insane uh, discolored lens dirt and bloom uh, that'll that'll just really uh, mess with you. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, make, make sure you're saying yes to all and install my files after you've already installed from reshade.me and launched the .exe and all that stuff. Very important. So you got, <laughs> uh, you, you won't have those hundreds of .ini files um, in, in your <laughs> game folder. Uh, that's from me doing different versions uh, and tweaks to uh, the different reshades I'm making. Um, you you should just have the, the two dot ini files, uh, final Fa final flash uh, one four and final flash one five whip, and then you'll have uh, you'll have the reshade uh, dot exe, I'm sorry dot ini file as well, um, and then any ones that the game has in it you know as standard. So now I'm just closing everything up. Uh, all the files you need should be installed now. Uh, so we'll go ahead and run the game. Now the game does need to be, for me, it needs to be in borderless window mode to run any form of reshade. Uh, and uh, I have to, as of the Windows Creator update um, for Windows 10, I need to rename all the reshade files like I showed you earlier. Uh, to the D3, D11, as opposed to, um, you know, being able to uh, have it in there as a DXGI. Otherwise, my game will crash on launch. So you won't even get this splash screen. But anyway, game's loading up. You'll get uh, in, in the top left corner, like you saw, you'll get a gray box. And it'll say loading effects. That's the reshade telling us loading the effects. And you go ahead and press Shift F2. And that'll bring up this reshade menu. And then you go ahead and... Uh, just kind of click through this tutorial, but the main thing is you want to go ahead and expand that box like I like I just did with the uh, with, in the right hand bottom corner. There's a little arrow you can drag it and ex expand the box, so you can see all the names of the different files. You should only have two in there, um, but go ahead and select uh, either the one dash four whip or sorry the, the, the version one dash four or version one dash five. Um, or whatever the latest version of my reshade you download is because I will likely update it uh, beyond 1.5 in the future. Uh, but you go ahead and select that. And then now I jumped over here to the uh, settings menu of the reshade uh, program. So now you want to go ahead and you can change your um, your overlay key, which is the, the overlay is the little interface we're looking at right now. You can change that by just clicking in that in the box like I'm going to show you in a second. Uh, where it says shift F2 and press any key you would like to remap that that function to so now you don't have to bother with pressing two buttons at once you can just make it one button I like F4 personally and then uh, I've made the effects toggle key the end key uh, which is scroll lock by default I believe but um, basically that means because uh, you, you can see right there I'm turning off and on the reshade um, on the fly uh, you, you don't have to toggle, you don't mess with any menu to do that. And the really good thing uh, for people worried about FPS is that um, you, when you toggle off the reshade, you actually get all your regular performance, your regular FPS back. So there's no real worry there.
Um, it's, it's, it's as if you don't have it installed, basically. I'm just going ahead, going ahead and loading up a save file. Um, you know, it's a, it's a good, actually, that I should point out. Um, something quirky about this game, because it has a very odd uh, full screen and borderless Windows kind of system that's working for it. I'm using um, a program uh, called Borderless Gaming. Um, I got it off Steam. It was pretty cheap. I think like maybe five bucks or three bucks or something like that. Anyway, use some kind of program, free or not, uh, to give you a, a borderless function, um, a, a, a you know a, rec a regular borderless window function. Otherwise, you're gonna have a hard time uh, tweaking reshade in your in your game um, if you don't already you know like everything at the setup. Because when you try to Alt Tab um, back and forth, what you need to do because this game is is kind of quirky with reshade. Uh, it'll it'll just crash the game as the effects try to load back in every time you all tap back because it's trying to go full screen again. Anyway, um, once you do have the uh, have it set everything set up with you know with that uh, you can you'll you'll sometimes you'll press your whatever button you have set to open the reshape menu and try to tweak something and you won't be able to move move your cursor around you'll be stuck in the middle of the screen. To fix that, just simply alt tab out and alt tab back to the game. You'll see me do it a couple of times as we're going through uh, our, our settings. So you can see when we first load in, um, the character's all blurry. And, you know, you're like, what? It's not supposed to look like this. Uh, you didn't install it wrong. That's how it's going to be out of the box. You have to uh, fix it. Um, earlier on, I you, you saw me in the settings menu tweaking those values inside that box. The far plane needs to be set to 10,000. And the uh, and you need to make sure it's that it's not a reverse depth buffer, but uh, buffer. It's, it's set that to zero, and then set set the uh, linear linearization to one. So uh, all that's super important. Otherwise, everything will look funky and the character will be blurry like you just saw. But go ahead and do that, and then you hit that reload button like I did, um, yeah. and then you know as you can see the character is no longer blurry, unless you use my other depth of field option which I have in there. Uh, which you can toggle along with the page down key. Make sure you toggle off the one that's on uh, by default, which is I have set up on the division sign, and that will blur the character slightly, especially indoors, like close quarters like this as you're walking around. Um, but that's not the one I have on right now, and it won't be uh, as crazy a blur like it was when we first just loaded up the game just now. So. I mean that's it. The, the reshade is up. It's running, um, and yeah, uh, you can tweak the settings. You know, fine tune them to your to your heart's content. You see this uh, what about and just let me know if you have any questions or need any additional help. But um, here's my first attempt at an install video. Uh, I guess we we were kind of doing it live. Um, yeah. Anyway, well. Hopefully that helped you guys if you were having any trouble getting this installed and you can pretty much take the same things you saw here and apply that installation process to any reshade of mine certainly and really any reshade um, just you know look at what the author says in their in their notes in their install notes some a lot of reshades don't you don't need to tweak any uh, settings in the reshade settings menu you just kind of especially if they, if they don't have depth of field set up you almost never have to tweak anything in that in that area um, but yeah, uh, I do do depth of field in all my reshades where games support it. Um, so I, uh, you, you do need to mess around with those uh, from, from all of my presets, um, just about. But all right, guys, um, I've been the Mercs Assassin. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this uh, and if it helped you out. All right, take care.